Lawmakers of the Economic Community of West African States, ECOWAS Parliament, have attributed the low remittance of levy by member states to the ongoing Russia-Ukraine war, low import flow, and the effect of COVID-19 on the global economy. The head of the Ghanaian delegation to the second extraordinary session of ECOWAS, Honorable Alexander Afenyo Makin, stated this while addressing journalists in Lome, Togo. He says, the leadership of the community, head of states of member states, must show courage in enforcing compliance with the payment. The recent uh, downturn in business uh, as a result of economic crisis leading to low imports could be a factor. Uh, in the sense that now we having this Ukraine-Russian war, which came just after COVID. Obviously, imports are coming down, or imports have come down, have reduced drastically. And these levies are imposed on imports at our ports. So obviously that is one. Two, it could also be the slow pace at which member states transmit or transfer such levies uh, as are collected. So uh, we need that political will from um, the commission, the heads of states, or those responsible bodies that are coordinating to ensure that these levies as and when they are collected are transmitted to ECOWAS on time. Of course, in today's age of technology, I don't think that we should even allow that bureaucracy of collect and at will transmit. There should be a network in place which automatically um, ECOWAS will receive once said payment are done. A lot of our member states in their port various uh, charges go to the respective uh, institutions directly. So to me, uh, that is one way of resolving that so that there will be no excuse as to whether a member state has uh, uh, collected and has refused or delayed in making sure that such funds come to the sub-region. Well, the community levy is what is building the ECOWAS. If you don't pay your levies, how can it be ECOWAS? So there are some countries who lapse. So that is how we came in to try to tell some of the uh, member states that do not pay their levies and on time to pay. Because we cannot move, we cannot succeed, we cannot come to even committees, we cannot come to Lome or even go to Abuja without paying your levies. And that is why we are asking the other members, member states, to pay their levies. Because it's sometimes unfair. If others pay their levies on time, then you benefit from them. So I'm, I don't want to call it parasitic because we have to work together as a team. We have to make sure we do things correctly so that whatever you say, you put your mouth where your money is. So you can do something, you can talk anything that you want to talk as long as you want goodies to go to your country. There's a global economic recession now, but uh, we must commend the Nigerian government for being able to live up to expectations. Uh, even though there are still some shortcomings on the part of Nigeria, but you cannot compare the contribution of Nigeria with other um, West African countries. Uh, some of them are actually, in fact, it's actually the Nigerian government that is carrying the, 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 more than 75 percent of the uh, expenditures, expenses of uh, uh, this, this, this parliament. Uh, I think as the economy improves more in next year, some of these uh, West African countries will be able to meet up their obligation to, to, to the Equus Parliament. We all should engage our people and talk to them, which is the leader, the president, and the others that we know they can make and things easier. Because free movement is a problem all over Africa, you know. So we just continue to engage the leader of the country because if not so, because parliamentarians automatically cannot close the border. But if you see our country close the border, maybe, maybe something. It must be some reason 
So for that reason, we need to know, Ecuador we need to know what is it, they close their border. And if it's necessary, we appeal to them to reopen the, the border. But fifth movement is, is, is a great problem. All over, it's not even one country. And this is what Ecuador is about. Free, free movement of people and goods. So I think that's the only solution to engage our people then, make them to understand that there is a need that our people move freely without any problem in the Vera Bula or, you know, I think that's the best way to go about. We have some uh, issues that we have to debate uh, here in, the, in Togo and we came here specifically for the budget first of all and then many uh, issues that uh, we have to solve against the uh, duty that the different delegation different country has to pay because without that there is no parliament there is no commission there is any uh, situation or position of ECOWAS we ha every country has to contribute to to the evolution and uh, for the ECOWAS so we have uh, as a deputy we have to make sure that our government take this issue seriously and pay for make things going or, or uh, good make uh, all the situation in the ECOWAS all the institution in the ECOWAS going well that's what we decide today we talk about today and i think that all the countries uh, take uh, questions that they have to work hard on it